everyone. I wanted to use this uh, time to give a quick demo and training session of Cobaton and using Cobaton in a manual testing fashion. So what I'm going to do today is give a real quick high level of the platform and some different training materials should help as well. And then really show you how a manual test session works on Cobaton. So first thing, your administrator should invite you to Cobaton. Um, it should invite you to your organization's particular instance to Cobaton and then uh, you will be able to create a username, create a password, and enter the portal just like I am now. When you first come into the portal, you will be brought into the devices page. The devices page is really broken down into three sections. The top section here is favorite devices. Down below that, these will be your devices that are dedicated to your organization. So it'll say your organization's name, devices. And then down below that are the larger set of Cobaton Cloud devices that are shared amongst all of our users who purchase minutes on our platform. Uh, please work with your administrator to figure out um, if you are to utilize the Cobaton Public Cloud, if you are to utilize your own personal devices or both, um, it'd be a good time to go over with them uh, the best way to get the most out of the platform. Uh, when you are in the platform, uh, you really have uh, a couple of different options. You can uh, perform automation testing that is done through our Open REST API, or you can perform a manual test on a device. And today I want to focus on the manual test. So when you're in the devices page, you can hover over any device. And in that device, you have three options. You have launch the device, which will begin a manual test session. You have view details which will give you things like the OS version, the UDID, the screen resolution, and you can also launch the device from here as well. Or the last one is the automation settings, which I will go to in a uh, different video. So I wanna use one of these devices that uh, I am hosting myself. So I will click on this launch device button. You will see the device will pop up. Um, I will get rid of this prompt down here. These prompts give you a couple little pointers and things of that nature, but I'll click to make this go away. And um, the device itself should load fairly quickly. Um, it should take maybe 10 or 15 seconds or something of that nature. Um, but if I swipe up on this device, it will unlock this device. And then uh, from here, it acts just like a device in hand. So if I swipe up, the device swipes up. If I swipe down, it swipes down. You know, if I click on the camera, the camera will pop open, so on and so on. Um, if I want to do a quick web test, I can come up here, click on Chrome, you know, go to any Google search. So, you know, I can search for COVID time. And then here, I'll be able to click and drag and, and do sort of the, the standard uh, procedure. Um, because this is a virtual device, some things uh, we have had to build some sort of hotkeys over here to the right for. Um, the top one is to take a screenshot. So if I click here, it will automatically take a screenshot and it will populate down here. The screenshot I can download right now or all of these will be available after the test is over as well. Um, please do keep in mind that in Cobaton, every time you perform an action, it also takes a screenshot. So when I swipe up like that, that just took a screenshot as well. Um, over here to the right below screenshot is touch. Touch allows me to do what I have been doing. It allows me to click and swipe and scroll and all of that. Below that is pinch to zoom. Um, this will allow me to pinch to zoom just as it would you know, if I had the device in my hand and I was using, using my fingers. So I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Um, below that is rotate to landscape mode. So I can uh, force this device to go into landscape mode and then it acts just like uh, expected. Down below that are a couple of other features. Uh, let this pop back up. Uh, one is set device location. So you can drop in the latitude and longitude here and it will change the device's GPS location. This is great for native apps that have a location-based feature uh, based on the GPS. If you are testing um, different IP addresses and uh, websites that need to spoof location, there's ways we can do that with um, setting up different VPNs and things of that nature on your private devices. Below that is changing the device time zone. We often see this used with customers who need to prompt alerts or something of that nature. So you can change the actual device time to um, push out different alerts and things of that nature. And then down below that are the native functionality of the devices. So power up, power down, recent apps button if it's a um, Android device, 
home button and back button. Obviously on an iOS device, you will only have the home button and the power button, no recent apps and no back button. Over to the right of that, uh, this is essentially just your test session information. This button here is automatically checked just in case you forget that you're in a device and you walk away. Um, it will end your session after 10 minutes of idle so that you can allow other individuals to use it. Um, this is to enable our cleanup policy. Speak with your administrator about this. Um, Cobitan automatically enables the cleanup policy for public devices, so this will not be there. For your private devices, you can choose whether to remove things like the apps and the browser history and things of that nature once the session is over. You can also uh, name this session. You can also add a description. Um, and then below that are the screenshots. And if you are the person performing this test, you can actually customize these or change these after um, the test is over. If it's another user that did it, you'll just be able to see what they've written. Over from that is our apps repository. So this is where you would install any applications onto Cobaton. So if I click to install one of these applications, it will begin to install the APK or the IPA file just as it would from the App Store or Play Store. I can also choose files from my desktop or I can also paste in the app URL if your apps are residing in something like a Amazon S3 bucket or hockey app or, or so on and so on. And I will show you the app repository here momentarily. And then over to the right of that are the live device logs. So um, you get device logs after the session is over, but uh, you also have the live device logs as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this test now. And You'll see that because this device is going through the cleanup policy, it still says utilizing and I can't use it. This cleanup policy should take somewhere around like 60 seconds. It's not extremely long, um, but it does take a little bit of time to remove that information. Um, if I go to the sessions tab over here to the left, you will now be able to see that test session that I just completed. You can see information like who completed it, how long it took, what apps were installed during that test session, you also have screenshots of essentially every action that I performed, as well as the forced screenshot that I took where it says take screenshot. Momentarily, you'll also have full video of your test session. So the complete test session will have video. Depending on the length of the test is also going to sort of depend on the length of the video upload as well. Uh, but it should only take a few minutes for a test this short. And then over from that are also the live device logs. So. As I mentioned, um, you get all this stuff during the test and after all of this is available for downloads. So I can download the logs. I can download these various screenshots. But also, if you notice, if I go back, each Cobaton test has a unique ID over here. And this unique ID um, is essentially also the app URL. So if you are part of my organization in Cobaton, I can also simply just share this information with you um, via the uh, via the app URL. Um, but for the most part today, that is what I wanted to show. I didn't want to go into too much detail, but thought this would give you a quick tutorial of how you perform a manual test session, um, how you see the information after the test is over, and uh, hope you enjoy using Cobotime. Thanks.